We're talking about God's peace throughout this week, and I trust that God will keep you in his peace as you meditate in his word. Psalm 119, verse 165. Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. Many times in life we feel trapped in trouble. We feel like we are caught in a place where there's trouble all around us. And many times we are not able to see our way out because we're so surrounded by trouble. The psalmist here tells us that we can enjoy great peace, not just peace, but great peace. But he tells us how to enjoy the great peace. And if you're looking for peace, this is how you enjoy great peace. Those who love God's law enjoy great peace. So at the heart of our quest for peace is God's word, God's law, uh, and God's promises are contained in his word. You know, one of the reasons why people lose their peace is because of what they hear, what they see uh, every day. And these days, it's not just what you hear from friends or what you see happening around you, but because of the media, we see what is happening all over the world. And so when there's a hurricane somewhere, although it never touches us, we see it and we hear of it. When there is an earthquake somewhere, it doesn't touch us. We, in other times, we may never have known that it has happened, but now... It's on our front door, so we hear about it. So each day, we are bombarded with news, information, and much of the information is very troubling. Something has gone wrong somewhere. Uh, something bad has happened somewhere. There's insecurity somewhere. There's violence somewhere. There is a war going on. Our fathers, our grandfathers didn't have to deal with this. They only dealt with what was happening around them. So they live rather peaceful lives. But we live very troubled lives. Why? Because there is so much trouble around us. And that is why we have to go into God's word. Because we are so bombarded with so much troubling news that we must stay in God's news. And God's news is the Bible is the written word of God. You have to stay there. And so the scripture says those who stay in God's word have great peace. For every bad news that you're hearing out there, you have to counteract it with God's good news. Read the words of Jesus Christ. Read about God's promises. Read about how God delivers the afflicted. Then you can counteract all the news you're hearing in the word. Great peace have those who love the word of God or the law of the Lord. And then it says that those who love God's word will not stumble. They will not lose their steps. Why? Because God's word is our guide. God's word directs us. And because we are in God's word, we don't stumble. We don't make hasty decisions. You know, many times the reason why people get into trouble is because uh, they fear so much, they panic, and they take a step and it gets them into trouble. Uh, they feel, oh, something bad is going to happen. They do something else that is worse than what they feared, and they get into trouble. But those who love God's word, they don't stumble. Why? Because they are anchored in the safety of the word of God. And the word of God keeps our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And so as you go through your life, I pray that God will give you great peace from his word. That in spite of everything you hear and read and see, you will enjoy great peace, which comes only from the word of God. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, your word brings me peace. Order my steps and keep me from stumbling. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.